If you could just give us a quick background of kind of what IFC's involvement was with Beta's recent loss of their charter. Yeah, um, so our <laughs> council for IFC didn't have a huge part um, with it just because um, we tend to allow um, the university to investigate any um, accusations or allegations that are brought forward to us. Um, given the circumstances of this report with um, our Beta Theta Pi chapter, um, they were already on probation um, twice for breaking probation prior to this, so we contacted their national organization to let them know about the incident and kind of see if they wanted to take the lead on it. Um, so a lot of our role was kind of hands-off and allowing them to kind of do their thing, um, and then they decided to make the decision that they wanted to close the chapter, and so a lot of our um, role in that was just kind of supporting them and working out the logistics of that, from moving the guys out of the house um, and back into the residence halls or off campus, um, and just kind of following up to make sure that everything was going smoothly. According to the, the men in Beta Theta Pi, they were given very, very little notice as to when their chapter was revoked and the men had the time to move out of their ha chapter house. Is that something that's by university standards or is that more of their national policy? Yeah, um, I think a few things go into that. Um, their national organization, you know, didn't take this decision lightly. It's not a light decision to be made when you're closing a chapter. Um, however, there were several conversations um, with organization, um, with their alumni, with the um, university to make sure that this was the right decision and they were going about it in a fashion. Um, unfortunately, you know, the undergraduate members weren't notified um, for a number of reasons just because we don't want that emotional piece to kind of get out of control. Um, we also, I think, um, you know, it was kind of a quick turnaround, but I think sometimes that's important um, as opposed to drawing it out. Um, one of the issues with that is once their national organization pulls their charter, um, they lose their insurance for their house, and so the expenses were just going to be too much um, for them to continue in until the rest of the quarter. So a lot of it seems like, oh, this is a quick turnaround, but um, there's a lot of different factors that play into that. So. What was your reaction to hearing that Beta had lost their charter just a couple weeks ago? Um, it was really actually pretty depressing. Uh, I have a lot of friends in beta, and um, my sorority has a lot of friends in beta as a whole, and it's just kind of sad because we do know that beta works hard towards stuff, towards making Greek life good, and I think that the way that everything happened with them was just depressing for the guys, and I mean, I'm in a sorority, and I was really sad for them too, so. Do you have any defense for your brothers, for your guys, who put a lot of work toward it? On every fraternity, or every campus rather, you know, Greek life is different. And that being said, there's stereotypes and stigmas for people that are in fraternities. I mean, if you're walking down the street, I don't think that the average person would expect that I would be an active member of a fraternity. Um, but there's a lot more to it than what people think they know. I mean, none of us are bad people. Um, we're just kids. While I understand rules are rules, and you know, if you break the rules, you're going to get punished. Um, which I can accept. I just don't feel that um, in, an incident like that would warrant, you know, 30 guys being kicked out of house and home and being stripped of, I mean, pretty much their life. You know, I mean, everybody who, every, Everybody in the fraternity was dedicated to it, and everybody who lived in the house lived there because they were brothers. I guess you don't really realize how 
awesome things are until it's gone. I mean, you can't put a price on the amount of freedom that you're given when you live in a fraternity house. But with that being said, there was definitely a lot of things that a lot of people aren't going to get to experience that we all experience, and that's probably the worst part about it. So, Beta will be coming back in the winter of 2012. What kind of guys do you hope to see, and do you hope to see the guys that are younger re-participate? Um, I definitely think that the guys who will still be here should definitely participate. Um, I know a lot of guys in Beta, and I, I'm really good friends with them, so I hope that the same type of guys come back. They're really fun, and they're really like willing to help people out if they need to. So, I think it's definitely a good idea for them to try to pick it back up, because Beta's a really, really good part of Greek life, and I don't want to see them go forever.